also come on into our wonderful bedroom. What is this? How long has it looked like this? Four months. I'm scared. This feels like we're on like a, um, like a crime scene kind of, you guys. What's on the other side? Well, so you're going to have to open it to see. I'm sure. <laughs> OK, I'm going in. I got to see what's over here. There's no way I can just ignore it. What the? What have you done? What? Oh, my goodness. There's not a bathroom here. There is some framing and some dirt. Yeah. No. Wow. Here we are. So when you moved into this house three years ago, the bathroom was a working bathroom. Yes. yes you used absolutely. that bathroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I knew that the bathroom needed to be redone when we moved in. The space was really confined into little sections. I started tearing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is really open. The holes that we have in the roof are where the old plumbing vent lines went through. And all I really did was just tape those up on the roof. But other than that, I replaced this beam. I'm not 100% sure I didn't do the load calculations, but. So you replaced that and you didn't have an engineer out? No. OK. But um, you know, like, it might need to be one size up. I'm not even sure. And it might be fine. Probably, think, most likely, maybe. These are words that don't work in construction. Your family room is huge, which is amazing. Did you put this carpet in? No, so this carpet was here when we moved in. The laminate flooring, and then we have green carpet in here, and then our bedrooms have yellow carpet, so it's not quite matching everywhere. What I want to do is I want to rip out this carpet. I want to rip out these dark hardwood floors as well, and I want to replace everything with an engineered hardwood. Yeah, it's a lot nicer. Yeah, just do one continuous flooring through this whole house. This right here, take this cabinet space uh -huh. and turn it into closet space on the other gotcha. side of the wall. This linen storage, it backs up perfectly into their bedroom closet. So reclaiming the space in the bedroom will give them that huge, like, all-in-one closet they've always wanted. They don't want a dresser to clutter up and take up space in their bedroom, which I actually really get. So let's build a storage solution into the closet that will keep all of their clothes and shoes organized. OK. Their tub is white. So if we can get a neutral, darker tile that will run on the floor and up that part of the tub wall, it'll draw their eye there and highlight it as like a place to relax. A light tile for the shower to contrast the floor and a new window to let in lots of light, which will really be good for Andrea's plants, which I want to put on shelves here. And like right here, have a piece of glass, so that whole thing uh, is a wet room. I love that, yeah. Right? I love wet rooms, that's cool. So this side is going to feel like a spa with the wet room, but over on this side, I think we can give it like a totally different look. We'll add their vanity, but we'll frame it in front of like a really simple accent wall, maybe like some stained wood. The toilet goes in the corner, and then we can pop in some neutral colors as accent tones to give this bathroom that like wow factor that they're looking for. I like that. Right? Yeah. This is going to be a really big closet. That's deep. I don't really see the purpose of having a linen closet on this side. I don't think they're going to miss this space at all, and they're certainly going to get a lot from the other side. This tile here is going to stay the threshold tile. So I have engineered hardwood in my house, and I really like it. This is pretty, but this is the same color as the travertine that's here. Absolutely. I also feel like it's pretty darn close to the wall color. They're going to go all the way throughout the house. So I don't want to repaint all their walls. Their walls are in great shape. We don't need to do that. This would be pretty in like a beach house. Mm -hmm. Not that they're like far from the beach here, but I kind of like these that are more like the contrast. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, I think the grays here, pull out the grays here. Right? Yeah. I think it works out nice. I really want to make this bedroom like an oasis. For Andrea, that means somewhere she can sleep in the middle of the day. And I asked her, I was like, OK, you're a NICU nurse now that works the night shift. Is that going to be like a long-term thing? She said at least four to five years. Preparing this room as somewhere she can sleep during the day makes a lot of sense. I want to paint the walls dark and then bring in pops of light and color in other ways. OK, so shower, tub. Yep, Love exactly. That. Glass. So this is going to be your glass right here. Perfect. Right? Big space. It's going to be so cool. The beams that Jeremy put in himself, we had them inspected, and they're structurally sound. So that's really good news. Perfect. Over here in the bedroom, their closet now has so much more space. It's kind of hard to remember what it was like without a closet here. Yeah. Right? Wall. I had a wall. 
but yeah. I know, but like now <laughs> it feels like this is how it should have been. Exactly, it's meant to be. They told me they really don't want dressers in their bedroom anymore. They just yep. wanna have like really minimal, like basically just a bed. If we build out the lower half here with drawers, I think that this will be really helpful for them to have like an organization system. Today, the engineered hardwood is being installed throughout the house, and now the floors match from room to room. This is a big step. I can't believe how much we've achieved in just a short period of time. Jeremy and Andrea wanted to do this themselves, but the bathroom took away so much of their time that they never got around to it. Now it's one less thing for them to worry about. The floors look beautiful, and they're making the whole house feel more cohesive. I love these floors. I love the color. I mean, you can feel the grain, which is always nice, not too smooth. Guys, these are looking great. Looks like we're gonna get these done today. The idea of having a window in the bathroom is always a nice thing, that natural light coming in. Plus, Andrea loves plants, so we definitely need to have light for her plants in this wet room part of the bathroom. I understand why Jeremy and Andrea felt like they were buried. They had a bathroom that was dirt. Being able to come in and not only finish the space and make it functional and make it beautiful, but be able to really listen to their story and think about how they're gonna use it, that's what I love to do. Hi! Hi look at you! Hey! <laughs> Here's your house. <laughs> you guys are a little nervous. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna let you go in without me and go look around. Okay. And I can't wait to see what you guys think. All right, yeah, let's, let's do it. There's definitely butterflies. Oh my gosh. Look how cool this message board is. We're thankful for family, dinner, cupcakes, bedtime. That's uh -oh. good. The cabinets are gone. It just looks like it was never there. Look at these floors. Oh my gosh. These are so much better than before. No more carpet. It really brightens up the whole space. I know, it totally lightens up everything in here. Oh my gosh. Look Holy at this place. Holy cow. Isn't it beautiful? Wow, oh my look gosh. at these closets. Open it, let's see. Whoa, look at that. Oh my gosh. We got lights in there for you. How crazy is this that this was the closet on the other side? That's pretty mind blowing. That is so cool. New blackout curtains. Aren't these so much better than the tarp that was here? Oh, it's tarp. I'm going to sleep. Hi. I love you. I think I'm gonna sleep a lot better now. Yeah, yeah. totally. Oh, oh my, my god. Are we in the same house? <laughs> I don't think so. Holy. <laughs> Look at all the plants. It adds like so much color in here, doesn't it? Look at the bathtub, the tile. Oh my love. god, everything. It feels like a spa in here. I love the real wood in here. This is where giving up the design aspect of things <laughs> is amazing because it just would have been all white. Yeah. Do you remember what was here? Like this Dirt. is a, it's a mess. I hate it. My gosh. What do you guys think? You are Holy a miracle worker. <laughs> cow. Yeah, you killed it. You did and you have given us so much by taking this on for us. Thank you. Both of you obviously make a lot of sacrifices for your family and you guys deserve this. And I'm so glad that you can just enjoy it and hopefully just kind of pick up where you left off before you ripped your whole house apart. <laughs> Jasmine took every hope and dream that we had, put it all in there and made it even better than we could have.